White. Bill Williams as Gus Angel. There'll be four of us, sir. Good evening. How are you? Come here, please, this way. Uh, Mr. and Mrs. Clemson are on their way over. Thank you. Aren't those caricatures great? There's Clark Gable. Where? Not out of your skin like that. He's up there. Oh. <laughs> Look, sweetie, there's Lana Turner, and there's William Frawley, and there's Alan Ladd, Tallulah Bankhead. I didn't know you were so starstruck. Me? You? Oh, don't be silly. I'm not at all, and you know it. <laughs> I just think actors lead very interesting lives, that's all. Yeah, sure you do. <gasps> Gus, huh? there's Liberace. Where is he? Don't look. Don't, 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 don't look. Honey, how can I see him if I don't look? Well, just don't be obvious. They don't like to be stared at. So look up this wall to that beam as though you were looking at the pictures. Now follow the beam across. <laughs> Down the other side. Hello. Honey, will you tell me where he's sitting and never mind the radar? He's getting up. Shh, don't look. Hello, Tom. How are you? Hello. <laughs> well, that was nice of him to say hello. He doesn't know me. Who said hello? Liberace. Probably thought he knew me from someplace. Honey, I was sitting right here, and if he said hello to you, I'm Donald Duck. <laughs> We're gonna join the eight. Wonderful to wait here for you. Hello, sweetie. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, Did you get a place to park? Finally made it. Finally got a nice night. Oh, I love this. Yeah. Guess who just said hello to Vicky? Liberace, no less. Vicky, did he really? Well, he must have thought I was somebody else. <laughs> he sure must have, because he said hello to somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> They're all the same, Gus. Wilma claims that Clark Gable waved at her once at a benefit. She forgets that Clark Gable was on the stage, and she was in the last row of the Hollywood Bowl. <laughs> I don't ask you to believe me. We don't. We don't. <laughs> How do you do? Uh, I just ran out of gas in front of your house. Uh, uh, would you mind if I use your phone to call the auto club? <laughs> I, I just ran out of gas in front of your house. Would... <laughs> Did I say something offensive? <laughs> No, the, the phone. The phone's right over there. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you are Dennis Day, aren't you? Yes, that's right. You know, it's funny how things happen just when you're in the biggest hurry. Let's see. Oh, here it is. Oh, the auto club. Mm. Say, uh, this is Dennis Day. I just... No, Dennis Day. Day, D-A-Y. Yeah, that's right. Look, I ran out of gas on Filbert Street. Would you send some... Oh, um, what's the address here, please? Oh, 1712 Filbert Road. Oh, um, uh, 1712 Filbert Road. Yeah, and will you please tell him to hurry? I'm doing a recording session in a half hour. Right. Thanks very much. Thank you very much, miss. Mrs. Mrs. Angel. <laughs> Couldn't I fix you a cup of coffee or something? You, you have to wait anyway. Oh, gee, that's very nice of you. 
If it wouldn't be too much trouble, I'd like a nice glass of ice water. Ice water? Yeah. <laughs> ice water? Couldn't I fix you a sandwich? Oh, or... no, no. Uh, ice water would be fine. Thank you. Just, Just ice water. <laughs> Thank you very much. Pretty thirsty. Hi. Hi. You seem a little nervous. <laughs> I guess I just can't get used to the idea of Dennis Day in my house. I'm afraid I'm one of your fans, Mr. Day. Oh, don't be afraid of a thing like that. And incidentally, my fans call me Dennis. Oh, no, really. I, I have almost all your records. Yeah? You know, I know all about your, your wife and Peggy and your, your five wonderful children. Oh, Peggy's going to be glad to hear about the five kids. She thinks we have six. <laughs> <laughs> I heard you say you were going to make a, a record. How do you go about picking a hit song, Mr. Day? I say you'll never call me Dennis unless I call you... Uh... Vicky. Oh, Vicky. Well, to uh, answer your question, Vicky, you know, I don't think anyone knows what really makes a hit record or a hit song or, or a hit anything, for that matter. I never thought of it that way. No, really, it's true, you know. It's a strange thing about show business, but you, you can't figure out what the public is going to like. I mean, what they're going to accept. You take, well, take Billy Williams. You know, for years he's been singing, and he finally made it with his wonderful record of that old standard. I'm going to sit right down and write myself a letter. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and I'll make believe it came from you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to sit right down and write myself a letter. Oh, yeah, and I'll make believe it came from you. Oh, yeah, gonna make believe it came from you. Oh, no. <laughs> Maybe the best way for me to get a hit might be to just, I don't know, change my style, stop being so legit, you know, and just let myself go, like, one for the money, and two for the show. Three to get ready now, go, cat, go, but don't you? <laughs> you can do anything but lay off the loose suede shoes. Oh, go, I go, I go, cat, go, I go, I go, I go, cat, go, I go, I go, I go, I go. Oh, oh, I got a seizure. Yeah, I hope that fellow with the gas shows up pretty soon because I'm sure to be late for the recording session. Oh, I wish my husband were here to hear this. <laughs> I know how busy you must be, Mr. Dave. Where do you ever find time to learn new songs? Well, I'll tell you, Vicky. You see, right now I'm up in Vegas and the orchestra up there, they made a recording for me, you know, without any lyrics. Well, what's the name of the song I want to buy out the minute it comes out? Well, it's a, it's a ballad. It's called Smile at Me and it... Hey, wait a minute. Vicky, would, would you listen to the song if I sang it for you? Me? I knew you would. Now, don't move. I'll be right back. I'll get the record. Now, look, the lyrics of this song are all about Paris, so don't, why don't we just set a little mood, huh? You sit over here. Now, uh, let's just imagine that over here is the left bank, here is the Seine, and you are sitting in a little cafe, a little sidewalk cafe. You are waiting for me. Oh, yes, the moon is shining. Well, uh, see? Oh, you'll have to forget that you're married, Vicky. Uh, nothing personal, of course, you know, but my wife wouldn't want me carrying on with a married woman. <laughs> anyway, here we go. Now, you are sitting at the sidewalk cafe. I approach. You are waiting for me. You see me approach. Allons avant de la batterie. Ah, you see me and you smile. <laughs> no, no, you don't laugh, you smile. <laughs> When you smile at me, smile at me, 
Paris soon becomes the lovely city it was meant to be. Smile at me, smile at me. And when you hold my hand, touch my hand, winter rain become champagne, and I am in a wonderland. Hold my hand, hold my hand, but have a care, Paris loves her lovers, have a care, or you will discover romance that you words and you sing it. Oh, I'm not a singer. Oh, well, so much the better. Now, when the music comes around again, you join in. Come on. Mm -hmm. When you smile at me, smile at me, Paris soon becomes the lovely city it was meant to be. And when you hold my hand, touch my hand, when the rain becomes champagne and I am in a wonderland, hold my hand, hold my hand, but have a care, Paris loves her lover, have a care, or you, you will discover Hey, listen, what do you think of the song? Oh, Dennis, I just love it. Well, at least that's one record I'll sell. Oh, <laughs> just... Hey, you better take me. Oh, thank you. Oh, dear, Mr. Day was waiting for you. Mr. Day, uh, Dennis... Oh, I'll be right there. Gee, I'm awfully sorry to have to rush off like this, but, you know, I've got to do the record date and be back at Vegas for the dinner show. Tonight? Tonight. I tell you, it is no beer and skittles in the show business. <laughs> sure, you didn't. <laughs> Thanks for the ice water. Oh, thank you, Dennis. Goodbye. And the man from the auto club came right after we sang the duet, and Dennis left not five minutes ago. He, uh, he asked me to call him Dennis. Sounds wonderful, sweetie. <laughs> well, I thought you'd get kind of a kick out of it. And Wilma, he asked for a glass of ice water. <laughs> Vicky dear, don't you think... Ice water? <laughs> Honey, you sound a little skeptical. Oh, it, it, it's not that I'm skeptical, but I just wouldn't tell too many people, Vicky. The truth always sounds so... Right there, huh? <laughs> what happened after you gave him the ice water? Well, we got talking about hit records. You know how you do. And he was doing some impersonations of people who've made big records. <laughs> oh, it was so cute, honey. I wish I could remember. He was standing right here. <laughs> oh, what ball the money? He was going to say, Ready on, go, go, go. He 
Alice Day did that? <laughs> well, naturally, he did a little better, but... <laughs> and then we sang a duet? Together? I know what a duet is. <laughs> Ice water? <laughs> Ice water? Gus, if I can't tell you something, whom can I tell? Oh, honey, I believe you. After all, why would you make up a story like that? Thank you, darling. Let's keep the whole story just between the two of us, huh? <laughs> Why? Oh, what I meant was, don't tell the neighbors. It's a little hard to believe that Dennis Day was here. And... Special delivery for Mrs. Angel. Oh, thank you. I thought you were my husband. <laughs> <laughs> Anytime. <laughs> Freeway murder. I'll bet it is. Um, uh, did you have a nice day? Ah, uh, so so. What's new with you? <laughs> Sabu stopped by to use the phone. <laughs> His elephant blew a trunk. <laughs> that I believe. <laughs> oh? Oh what? I thought you believed what I told you about Dennis Day. Honey, if you tell me he was here, that's good enough for me. Uh, honey, let's get dinner over with before Wilma and George get here. And, sweetheart, don't tell them the story. Yes, I won't tell them anything you don't want me to. Honey, uh, mm -hmm. do you want to answer this or should I? Not now, sweetheart. Wilma and George are... Dear Mrs. Angel, it just occurred to me that if I were not in show business and I came home from a hard day's work and my wife told me that Jimmy Durante stopped by and sang a duet with her, I'd hit her with a flounder. <laughs> I'm sending you a rehearsal record so you can sing your husband the song and prove it. Thanks again for the ice water. Sincerely, Dennis Day. Then he was here. <laughs> Was there ever any doubt? <laughs> Honey, listen to this. Now, you sit right there. Now, this is a song all about Paris, and you're in a little sidewalk cafe, and you're just sitting there waiting for me, and you're not married. Wait a minute. Come to think of it, yes, you are. <laughs> Smile at me, smile at me. Paris soon becomes the lovely city it was meant to be. Smile at me, smile at me. And when you hold my hand, touch my hand, winter rain becomes champagne and I am in a wonderland. Paris loves her lovers, have a care, or you will discover romance that you never knew. Hear her sign, sign, fall in love, fall in love, other loves surround you.
like it? Like it? Honey, if I could only... Wait till Wilma and George hear that. <laughs> several limitations for Vicky. Of what? A guy drinking ice water? <laughs> no, it was one of these, uh, one for the money, two for the show, three to get ready and go, cat, go! Go, go, go! <laughs> I know what it is, Rudy Valley. <laughs> <laughs> Suppose I can prove Dennis Day was here. How? Show him the letter, sweetheart. What letter? The one... Well, you got a letter to Honey, that. we were talking about Dennis Day. Now, it isn't very nice to change the subject. You looking for something, dear? Honey, what'd you do with the record? What record? Honey, don't play games. They think I'm making up a big story. I know exactly what they think. <laughs> I'm sorry. Here, darling. Wait, let me... Uh, read this. And he really was here, Vicky. Oh. I told you. <laughs> and they stood right there while they sang the duet. Go ahead, sweetheart. Oh, no, God, not in front of people. They're not people. They're woman George. I can't. When you smile at me, smile at me. Well, man, George, you're late. It always happens when you take two cars. Enjoy the premiere? Oh, honey, I just loved it. <laughs> See, weren't you supposed to call Mr. Chase before 11.30? Oh, my gosh, I forgot. Oh, oh sweetheart, have you got a dime? I'll be right back. Oh, I'm I'm terribly sorry. Oh, that's dark. I uh I hope nothing's broken. No, everything's fine, Mr. Er <laughs> but why well, uh, <laughs> Mr. O'Brien. <laughs> So you just, uh, just call me Hugh. I know you hear this from everybody, but I think you have the best Western show on television. Well, thank you kindly, ma'am. That's very nice of you. Is that your new album? Oh, yes, it is. Yeah. Just made it uh, my first try at singing. Hugh O'Brien, TV's Wyatt Earp Sings. Wow. <laughs> very subtle title. <laughs> I hear there are some wonderful songs in there. Well, thank you very much. My husband and I think you have the most beautiful voice. Your husband? <laughs> well, it, it's really been a pleasure meeting you. I hope I see you again sometime. Mm -hmm. Hi. Goodbye. Mm -hmm. The line was busy. I'll have to call back. Oh, Gus, he even looks better without his boots. <laughs> what? Honey, you'll never believe this. Oh, here we are. Good evening, Gus. Let us join the angels again. Oh, all right. Well, my George. Hi. Hi. Glad you. you made it. Sure. Ah. Thank you. Thank you. Now. Yeah, we're going to take two cars again. Oh, Never. No. <laughs> Nothing to delay. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Another reason we were late. Wilma's was looking for movie stars. Oh. Didn't you see anybody? Not at all. Uh, honey, what were you about to say? I was going to say, you'll never believe this, but I'm not a bit hungry. <laughs> and I'll have a New York steak on the dinner with a short time.